resolutely, step by step. The man in the green nightshirt approached the revolving door of the hotel. A desk clerk who was more experienced in the vicissitudes of the downtown hotel trade might perhaps have sensed that a man wearing a green nightshirt and carrying a stuffed gorilla meant trouble. But for Rupert Lonsdale, who had been working the desk for only a few nights, his major reaction was one of curiosity. Is there a Santiago Dean registered here at this hotel? I'll just check that for you. Mm, uh, no. No, he doesn't seem to be registered um, here. Well, I'll tell you what it is. Santiago Dean sold my wife this here stuffed gorilla, and if you could see for yourself, it's just as moth-eaten as the devil. <coughs> I was hoping I'd find him here tonight so I could kill him. I've got an axe. <laughs> The sight of the axe frightened Rupert out of his wits. There had been a number of axe murderers in his family when he was a child, some of whom had been insane. In desperation, he wondered if he might be asleep and only dreaming this nightmare. But he wasn't. And he wondered if the man in the green nightshirt might be asleep and only dreaming. And sure enough, the man was dreaming. And woke up to find himself at home in bed. any more of that gorilla meat casserole like we had last night. That stuff gives me nightmares. All right, then you can suck my nuts! That wasn't gorilla meat, you dope. What? What was that? That was your nephew, Rupert. Whatever that stuff was. Said the man in the green nightshirt. Mm -hmm. 